Have you ever needed to transcribe an audio file? Now, normally, or what most people would do is they would send that file outside of their Microsoft 365 environment to a third party application to get a transcript, something like HappyScribe or Otter.ai. Those things will do you a nice transcript. But what if you could do it right here inside Microsoft Word or inside Microsoft OneNote? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. On the home ribbon in Word, we have a button for dictate. More on that another time. But if we click this button, you'll see we have two options, dictate and transcribe. When you choose transcribe, it says, OK, what language are you? Well, English United Kingdom, and then give me the audio. Now, just to let you know, you've got 300 uh, minutes for a month, which is quite a lot. So we're going to upload an audio. And I've got an audio in my download folder called Transcribe Audio, which I recorded using Zoom. So it's now going to upload that audio. It's a very short clip, so it won't take too long. Now that it's uploaded, I can see that it says just using Zoom to record a short audio clip so that can upload it to Microsoft Word and Microsoft OneNote to demonstrate how transcription works in both of those applications. And then I've said to see you in a minute. Now, the transcript is closed. It says you can come back to it. It puts it in your files in OneDrive. So it kind of becomes lost within all the other application things. So I can choose to add it to the document. I can add just the text with the speakers, with timestamps, with speakers and timestamps. I'm just going to add the text. There we go. I've now got my text here. I can save this document and I can go ahead and do a new transcription. And it tells me it's going to discard that one. Also, the other option you have is to actually record here. So it's now recording what I'm saying and I am going to save and transcribe now. Again, it's going to upload that file and here we go. Good here. So it's now recording what I'm saying and I'm going to save and transcribe. And again, I can add that to the document. And now I've got both of my audio recordings and it's actually got a link to that document as well. So I hope you find that useful. Now, I mentioned you can do the same in OneNote. So if I bring OneNote up, I've got a page here called transcription. And guess what? On the home ribbon, we've actually got a transcribe button. And we can either transcribe or record as in Word. So again, if I choose transcribe, I'm going to get exactly the same um, options. This is the last one I did. I'm going to do a new one. I'm going to upload the audio, go back to my downloads, do exactly the same thing so that you can see that it is, in fact, exactly the same. Now, it's going a bit quicker with the upload here. And here we have it. Just they're exactly the same. Add it to the page with the same options. Let's add it with a speaker and it just says speaker one. So now I could go here and type my name to say that was me talking and so on. And it's saved. I can close it. I can come back. I can do a new one. But that's how you can save time with transcription in Microsoft Word and Microsoft OneNote.